Let's continue playing Open XCOM and the XCOM Files. When we last lived off, I've adjusted our research slightly because I realized we had eight people in the Alpha Pod Corps and it's still showing as unknown, which is not encouraging. Um, I decided to just adjust this. I really didn't realize the purchase from Black Lotus Supplies is actually its own research topic. We'll deal with that. And I decided to start researching Cyclone because, you know, Cyclone, Durafred, and various other bits. We've been, picked, we've been kind of on the fringes of awareness for a while now, but let's actually start researching what the heck these people are up to. In the meantime, though, we're in September. Let's see what happens this month. If in fact anything, thus far, nothing. Uh, Agent M has completed his training. Perfect. I don't have anybody else to assign, but you know. Yep, you finish your training and have a 65 accuracy. Whatever you say. All right, so we have surfer covers. Uh, common area of operations for criminals. With this cover, XCOM agents can respond to situations where walking around a suit would attract too much attention. Also covers basic surfing training for the entire staff. Well, I mean, that's got to have been worth it, hasn't it? Maybe. Also, that Black Ops agent is taking an age to sort out. Um, what do we even want to research at this point? I suppose we could just go through the support of Dagon and a couple of followers here to see if we can get some weapon stats, I suppose. Any shards found at Kirikai? Uh, only got more Elenium shards. In the end, they found two pieces in working condition. Better than nothing. Okay, 15 points. We have two Elenium shards at the Troopers Min. We've had some Black Lotus suppliers. Uh, it is not as well supplied with military weapons as most of the other organizations we cover, to, but what they have is usually high quality. Um, offer was accepted, so now we can finalize the agreement. Of course, doing so is a blatant violation of the law, so we prepare to explain to the council at the end of the month. Minus 50. Well, we can now research QBU 88 and USAS 12s. Which I suppose we might as well. One point and one point. Yeah, we'll explain it. It's fine. We need better guns. Alt activity detected at the Arctic in safe house. Okay. First mission in a while. Let's have a think. Let's actually go with this from the other side, from the Temple of Power Base, because they need some stuff, generally speaking. Um, we're going to take Wilkin along. We're going to overtake on Kung Pao, because he hasn't been on a mission in a, lot, a little while. Take Rose, and we'll take uh, Mario at the, this one as well. Okay. Equipment-wise, we should be mostly fine. Again, we just want to take a few more rifles if we've got them. And since we did bring a couple of more SKSs, we'll take at least one more. And yeah, two magnums should be good. I think we just want to go with... Let's double up on our hunting rifles here. So two hunting rifles, two SKSs, one AKM. I've got options, at least. Alright. Humvee to the Arctic. Council's power chain. Two categories of organizations serve in the council. First category I refer to as technical, covers global administration, for example, the World Bank. Uh some fires by a high commissioner. Other category is political. These organizations will often swallow them. The technicals are considered to be a part of the political struggle. Harming certain big Factions while others profit from them. No way with so many enemies and stupid obstacles. It's also SB where we enjoy so much leeway in our mistakes. Mm, okay. Does that actually help us with anything or not? Apparently not. Afro Corpse 4. Oh, let's add a third to Cyclone and we'll just continue on with that. It'll get done eventually. But you know, we've got to research the alien corpses. Strange life form in the same place. Ha, yeah, okay. Well then, um, strange life form, you say. Let's crew up. I'm not going to take. I'm not going to take dog this time. We're going to take ourselves a glyph keeper. And we'll also take Hagen and UF on this one. But 
intercept Humvee 1 for the strange life bomb. I think we're going to have to wait here a little bit. Humvee 2, troll. Yeah, they are literally on the same spot. Okay. Uh, service to the Chinese Army Police Forces. And it's not like. It's good accuracy stat, actually, but it's not that powerful a weapon. Uh, efficient combat shotgun. Well, that might not have been worth it, but hey. It's done now. Um. I think this is a sniper rifle, if I remember rightly. Oh, alien language. In language to communicate with their followers. Uh, alien symbols arranged in accordance with a simple grammar system form short sent messages. At this point, we can't say whether the aliens use language to communicate with each other as well, but perhaps we can learn more about their relationship with humans. Okay. Um, do we want to research here in truth? Black Ops shotgun? Sporting bow, crossbow, switchblade. Yeah, okay, I'm just mostly getting categories down at this point. Also, this being the Arctic is never going to be sunshine. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right, so, got new targets, and a cold safe house. Okay, let's see how this goes. Also, apparently there's a strange life form right, right around you. You might need to, you know, might need to deal with that. Okay, so Rose, we're going to adjust because, obviously, has the best accuracy of anybody here for the most part. Here you got one of those. And I'm going to give you the SKS, or at least one of them. Since you've got one additional thing, we'll just have a... Yeah, so the reloads are in the quick draw. Okay, Mario, um, 73. 75 from Shopkeeper, which is fine. 65, and Welkin armed with the hunting rifle at the moment. I think actually one of them armed with that is probably fine. Got a cult for backup. Everybody should have a stun weapon as well. I guess the only thing from Welkin's perspective is to make sure he's got a Glock just in case things go a bit south. Shopkeeper, we're not going to have that, but we are going to have the shopkeeper with the med kit, just so we got somebody in reserve. All right, how is our starting location? It is pretty bad. But equally, we're not... I mean, actually, no, this could be quite good. No, I, I take it back. This is the... I, I thought it was pretty bad because of all the high terrain around us and just the ability to get shot at from everywhere. But in fairness, we've got a direction that we're safe. It's about what we could ask. Problem is, of course, the tunnels. So, do you see a lot of area? Uh, Mario. Go up here. Alright, duck and face. Alright, Rose. The only problem with the SKS is that it does only have 10 shots. But um, it acting as a melee weapon as well is quite nice. Shopkeeper will also position for reaction fire. And Welkin, I guess, goes down here. Even sure which. Oh, okay, well, since I've done that, we might as well just. Yeah. I'm not even sure which cultists we're dealing with at this point. Exalt, then. I think. Oh, these are red dawn. Actually, who are these? 
We'll find out in a few moments. They are mostly armed with knives at this point. Yeah, Red Dawn. Uh, okay. 11% is not great. Especially as we have no line of fire. Right, shopkeep. Aim shot missed. Snapshot missed. Okay. Well, as much as I'd like to position up, I think the best plan for us right now is going to be to actually firing line this one. So let's move Tone Pal back. And let's not take a 5% shot for the moment. Welcome. Trying to see snapshot, no line of fire. All right. Oh, well, let's just hold. That was a brave reaction fire. Brave by the other people involved, I think, more than anything else, but you know. Uh, that we might get away with that. Yep, we got away with that. All right, shopkeep. I'm not liking the fact that we just keep getting hits that don't actually count. Alright, two wounded. Did we even hit you at one point? Nope. Alright. Uh deep percent aim shot. One down. Hit but no damage. Okay. Let's move. Walking up to there. Duck and snap at one of these two. Oh, they're both wounded. Is something. Rose can only shoot at those two for the moment. Okay, that's something I can shoot at. And miss. So we'll duck and we'll hope. And then it's Magnum time. And the almighty no line of fire. Well, this is probably not the worst move in the world. Unless something's flanking us. Because he needs to get close enough to do damage with that magnum anyway, so we'll see if this works for us. One Wilhelm death. And they are moving closer, which makes our accuracy better. Means they're wasting time on movement rather than stunning. Speaking of, how brave are we feeling here, Mario? We go up and do a stun attack, I think. Oh, I felt brave. Mario's probably dead now. Oh well. Uh... One aim shot. Done. Oh, you're surviving a lot. Alright, dead and bleeding. Make sure we're not getting flanked and welcome. Let's move up. Better position for rifling. So I've got a feeling Mario's going to get shot at here, but we'll see. 
me stop. Maybe there aren't that many of them on this map. I mean, it is only a safe house. Nope, one spotted. 10% snapshot, but I think that was worth the attempt. We know where a couple of them are now. And we're going to move behind cover. And then worry about tunnels. Because they are darn near everywhere. Alright. Safe snapshot. Let's move up. We did spot one, unfortunately. Duck and wait. Dropkeeper advances. Cautiously, I hope. Well, I want to say cautiously, but actually we can't be that cautious. Welcome's probably fine at the back, in truth. I don't think Welcome's going to be in too much trouble to just sit in there. There's a long way back from things. And I am concerned about what's going around the side, so we are going to move Kung Pao around there. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's too many of them, but again, we don't know that. Please, Mario, it's deserved. By this point. Um, okay. Uh, nobody's flanking us just yet that we can see. Put Welkin on thing up there. Let's move you along to there, and you have found one. What are you armed with? Pipe and things. Um, no line of fire. Now well, let's keep the snapshot up then. going for some reaction fire. He hasn't been damaged, but I think he's been lucky. I say, I'm fairly certain we did see a leader type a while back, so... Wounded. Can't reload just yet, so we'll just position, I guess, with you. Around the side. There we go. Thought there was somebody around. Duck. And I guess this guy's on you. Good hit. Miles out of range, but good hit. Um. Welcome. Okay, do you want to have a go at this? Oh. It was still worth a go. Move up with Mario. So there's nothing hiding from us at that point. Uh, shopkeeper can move along. Also, should really have reloaded with you. Whoops. Welcome over here. 
not going to be doing too much for Marius at the moment, so. Okay, Rose up a little bit. Duck and maybe our reaction fire person. Nobody seems to be around that way. Yeah, that's the only person I was kind of concerned about. It might even be the last person left. Oh, let's load up and move out. I'm not going to save for a snapshot this time. We're just going to duck behind a rock. Fucking moves. Rose is probably fine there, in truth. Mario will move round to here because somebody's going to try and flank us in a moment. Also, Snapshot should really be back on for the moment. Okay. Run as far as there with the shopkeep. I think she's gone round. Mario's going to encounter her. Okay, one bleeding out. Uh, let's duck and ready. Now it has not got the movements to actually make that shot. Okay, keeps running. And yeah, I'm. I say I'm reasonably happy with everything else that's going on, so good reaction fire. Yeah, she was in the tunnels. Has hit Rose back, but I think she'll survive that. I mean no harm in getting a capture if we can manage it. Question is, can we manage it? Um not with you. Potentially with Shopkeeper, although it is our one attempt at this. Yeah, let's have a go. Why not? What's the harm? We lose the Shopkeeper. Okay, we captured one alive. One alive for a six. Everybody did something this mission, which is nice. Uh, let's see what we have to sell here. We have a buy three faces of money, half a million, and a wad of cash. That we can't argue with. Uh, some ammo boxes, some things. Uh, let's sell off these because we're not going to use them. Arakal's not going to use them. In fact, let's sell off all of that. We don't need any of it. We could. I mean, there's no reason not. Well, we don't. We're not going to use. We're not going to use anything. Okay. Prison cell succeeded, but a lad is better than a ganger, so let's sell off a ganger. Um, Overwatch awards for Rose and Shopkeeper. Battle scarred Rose for the third time. Solid from Mario, elite from Shopkeeper. Okay, let's then Temple of Power and just manufacture those boxes. Uh, one to one and four to one. Oh, outpost detected. So this is the full investigation. And I think this is going to have to be the other team here. So let's have a look. So who have we got for this? We have Solar Flare. We have Marriage Honor we could bring in. Yeah, so let's bring Marit and Connor into this mission then. To give them something to do, why not? It's not. It's only going to be a complete disaster. We'll bring Sapir in, I guess, if he's reasonably accurate. I actually have no idea how accurate he is. But, you know, we believe in trial by fire here. Sapir, what's your accuracy is that? I'm actually 65. You're, you're more than suitable for this. I mean, Mono's fully trained to be that accurate. Okay. 
Uh, Humvee 3 to the Cult Outpost investigation. Okay. Well, let's see what this... This is just strange life form. Last time the strange life forms in the Arctic, it was zombies. If it is this time. Uh, a Luger and some ammo. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, of course we have more ammo boxes. Okay, strange life form. So, Aegon with the rifle, UF with that, Rise with that, Rue with that, Cliffkeeper with shotgun for the moment. Uh, let's actually take shotgun off, put in the SKS on, let's see how this goes. Oh dear. Right then. Well, I hope you're busy. Uh, let's go eight snapshots here because we need them. This is a whole colony of the damn things. I mean, auto fight almost seems like a good idea. How many of them are there? Right. So I mentioned that um, this was good, and it is. It's not suitable, though. Right. Snapshots. And this one. This might be a retreating mission. Just, just gonna say it. This might be a retreat. So far, none of them have dropped in one hit, and there's enough that I can see that um, are gonna be a problem. Okay. How do we want to do this? Let's go snaps. Alright, give him a turn. There could be 20 of the damn things. Mangorn Apocalypse? But if I can deal with all of them in one direction, actually, then counterattack and bring all guns to bear that way? I'm not sure I've got enough bullets for this mission. for napalm grenades. We do have napalm grenades. Right then. Well, incendiaries anyway. Oh, 
I, I, I'll tell you what, I am genuinely tempted to just retreat, but let's let's see what we can do here. Okay, so that's incendiary there. Let's then drop one. Our time needs for that, but we can pick up another incendiary. Hit twice, but he's not going to drop from that. Meanwhile, aim shot. Doesn't do enough. Snapshot. Doesn't do enough. <laughs> Wall of enemies. Um... You're the only person with any kind of time units left. Let's have a go. That shot. Okay. All right, one more turn. See if setting it on fire does anything. I mean, I was hopeful. I think this is now retreat. Shoot what we can and retreat. It is, I don't think we're going to lose too much for this because if there are any civilians on this map, they're already dead. And nothing else, Aiden gets a battle scout award. However many it is. Also, I think the incendiary grenade did actually drop it. Oh. Whoops. I was wrong. It didn't. survive one man go on attacking you well two but you know he's counting yeah again we'll try and get the kills here because it's worth it to do that but We down one operative and still have an army to face. some good hits but this is gonna get worse and worse the longer this goes on I mean we're still seeing 10 is the thing so I think we are gonna retreat from this one we actually got a 22 case was not resolved 22 I think we do lose points that we would have lost anyway for not doing it but you know not the worst the, the people the surviving members of the team gained some points Elite awards for um, Rue and Rise. And we lose Senior Agent Agen. Let's go and give Agen the moral service he deserves. Agen, he was a person. I can't change the flag anymore. You might have asked about that a while back. 18 missions, 18 kills. Average of 1. Combat accuracy of 59%. 18 kills, 12 stuns. 
mostly killing members of the Church of Dagon. He went to the Arctic twice. He was the original member, Cavalier, Solid, Ice Cold Killer, Battle Scarred, Triple Patient Award, Double Overwatcher Award, Senior Correctional Officer, Incapacitator, Executioner. He was one of our better soldiers in truth, but again, not good enough. Killed in action by a Mongorn. Oh well, let's search as a new soldier. You can always get another Aegon. Let's purchase two more to be on the back side of that. So we got three additional agents coming. Yeah, unfortunate, but not much we can do in that position, really. Uh, ammo boxes are opened. Gain some stuff. We have researched the Switchblade. We really don't care about the Switchblade. Um, can we sort this by cost? Yeah, we can. So the easiest things for us to research are at the top now. Uh, which does suggest a few things about what we're doing, anyway. Um, yeah. We've had these for a while. Let's just go for the mechanical supplies. Now purchase switch blades. Cattle mutilation reported today. Well, that seems like a mission we can send some rookies on. So, let's uh, craft. Uh, then, and done. Let's take on Super Mike. Let's take on. I don't know, actually, most of our rookies aren't actually set up at the moment, which is a shame. Uh, Fisk and. Yeah, I don't really want to take Dog. Let's let's uh, let's take Larry for the sake of it. All right, equipment. Make sure they've all got their stun stuff, which they should have. All right, intercept and go and deal with that. Okay, we've researched rich medical supplies. Some quality medical items. Now we'll hit research. Uh, let's go for bolt rifle acquisition, because why not? Ah! You can unpack the things. Uh, well, we don't have them, but hey, we'll find out. Advanced healing sprays. Okay, well, those are those are things we can actually build now. So, huzzah! Humvee free near the cult outpost investigation. I think we are going to go and start this mission off, but then we'll see how we are. So, Marijin, Honor, let's give you a. Do you even have ammo for this? We do. Well, let's give Connor the SVD. We'll find out if that's any good in this mission. Uh, Solar, we're going to set up for M16 at this point. We have to be carrying a Magnum, so it doesn't have to worry about that. Kill carry that. Does carry that. Does carry an extra napalm grenade. Uh, mono. Give you. Give you the AKM and Sapia. Currently armed with the shotgun. I think we're probably gonna stick with that though. And just have a magnum for backup purposes at this stage. Definitely want the lethal shots though. Okay. We did this at night. Without thinking.
Well, this is going to be a this is going to be a terrible mission. Just going to say this now. I'm going to start this mission off because if we don't get the light sources up, we're kind of doomed anyway. Enough time to pick up another one. The only plus point is we haven't encountered any actual enemies doing this thus far. Uh, safe here. Duck in position, and let's see if we get shot at. I have a feeling we get shot at. Yeah, that was a mistake. I might even G escape load this actually. Because I think that's going to save it the last time we had a mission end. Unless loading the battle escape does... No, I think battle escape just takes it on the first turn. Uh, because I know how annoying this mission is going to be, we're going to do this. Yeah, it is still going to be that mission, so it hasn't changed that. It's just going to have to redo some of the research. Yeah, open ammo box. Uh, good, rich medical supplies. Wait a little bit. Intercept then. Uh, a bit of redoing, but it's fine. All in the name of uh, nonsense and stuff and things. Okay. So this time we're gonna wait for daylight, <laughs> and then we're gonna do the mission. Um, okay. Yeah, because as much as I would like to try attempt it, I have a feeling doing that during the daytime is gonna be at least doable. Doing it at night seems like it's going to be impossible, potentially with the normal levels of things we have here. That could be a problem. All right, begin the mission. So again, um, again, we definitely don't want stun ammo if we're going with a shotgun. We want that shotgun to be armed with this. I default will have these lit up now, which I know is a thing you can do. You can even pre-prime these, I think. Um, so quick draw there. Let's give you the um, actually give you the rifle. Three lots of that, and a stun pistol. For the just in case. Okay. Uh, mono. Unequip that. Put that on your right leg. Put that away. Put that there. And let's give you... The M16 and ammo. And a medical bag, because somebody should be carrying a medical bag. Right, so look. Put the magnum aside for the moment. We might actually equip that as your sub weapon, though. Because we're probably going to give you. Oh, maybe we give you a hunting rifle as well.
Okay, we'll get the AKM actually. AKM, have a thing, have a magnum as backup. Have an extra grenade, because why not? Uh, Connor, you get to try out this weapon as we established previously. And make sure you got a grenade as well. All good. Marijin. Medical thing. Grenades. And. And yeah, we go with that. Okay. Well, I feel suitably punished. <laughs> We can have a word if whoever drops us off in this position. Just gonna say, not gonna be a glowing review. Till next time.